Tēnā koutou and hello to every single person who was going along as a part of the Dream Team school visits. Well done for your participation. My name is Zane, I work for an organisation called The Parenting Place and my full time job is to train presenters to go into schools every day. We are really good friends with the Sir Peter Blake Trust so they've called us in to maybe give you a few ideas on communicating to students. I've got really three simple tips that you need to walk away with. First tip, keep your talk simple. Second tip, keep it relevant to the people in front of you. And last, make sure it is interesting. Let's get into the first tip, keeping your talk simple. It is human nature that we would want to cram as much information into a single presentation as possible. Resist the urge to do this. I think of good communication like decorating a room. When you walk into a beautiful room, your eye is immediately drawn to the features in the room. It might be a window, it might be a piece of art. Good communication is exactly the same. Don't make all of your ideas compete for one another. Make sure that everyone in the audience is drawn to the points of emphasis you want to make. Have a plan. Walk in there knowing what you're going to say. If you don't have a framework in mind, here's something that might work out for you. Number one, talk about yourself as a person. More than just your occupation, who is your family, what school did you go to? The second thing you can talk about is a day in the life of your work. What are your highlights, what are your lowlights, what are your challenges? Finally, don't forget to talk about some of the values that Peter really embodied. Values like courage, tenacity and risk taking. Point one, keep your talk simple. My second tip is this, keep your talk relevant to the people in front of you. It's so easy to forget what your priorities were like when you were younger. And as adults, it's easy to project onto students that they understand everything that we're saying. When I think about myself in primary school, seriously, my goal for two years was just to become the best at marbles. So remember, their worlds are sometimes different to our worlds. How do we make our talks relevant? A good tip is take away any jargon or fancy schmancy talk that is relevant to your industry. Actually, another idea is Try and figure out analogies that will explain your job or your ideas to the people in front of you. For example, if you were a lawyer at a huge international law firm and you were trying to take down a government, maybe you could explain your job like being a mum telling off a school principal. If you are a social worker, talk about how your job is like being someone's best friend when they're going through a really hard time. If you are a teacher, explain that Actually, just probably say that you're a teacher that'll work, fine. That's my second tip, keep it relevant. My final tip, keep it interesting. Some of my most treasured memories have been around a campfire exchanging stories with one another. If you want to be interesting as a presenter, turn your classroom session into a campfire where you're exchanging your story with someone else. Every single point you say should have a story attached to it. For example, if you are going to talk about the value courage, talk about a time in your life where you had to be courageous. The thing that we're leaving these young people is not just our stories. This year is all about giving them some of the hope and some of the belief that they can accomplish their goals and their dreams. And stories are the easiest way to do this. My last idea today will be try not to talk for too long. A talk that is between 20 and 25 minutes with some Q&A is a great way to engage a classroom for about 50 minutes. So don't put too much pressure on yourself and enjoy it. My last tip is keep it interesting. Now before we send you on your way, we are going to help you by giving you a pack that is going to give you a little bit of information about what you need to do. There's even some red socks in there. This will be very, very helpful. The final thing I'll say is, today is all about young people, so make sure you get them writing their dreams on these cards. They're available in Te Reo Māori and English. And the final thing I have for you, don't forget to take a selfie with your class. <laughs> <laughs>